Hello and welcome back to Still There. Hey, are you listening to me? Uh, no, but not that stop you. I said it seems there is a message broadcasting on the wide net, but the reception is not working. A broadcast. This is weird. Let me check it out. Oh, we have a loop. What's that? Do you want a simplified version of the current puzzle? No. Oh, what's that? It's a signal amplifier. Very useful when you get a weak signal. Ew, give me that. Um. Afraid you? Nope. It's a sort of socket. The socket? Okay. I connected the amplifier to the socket X1. It's a vacuum tube. Mm, Herbert Romero Wills presents the world of the worlds of zombie alien aliens. Okay. Ah, this signal. Uh, to another day of penance on Holy Mary's interstation. Ah, this signal. Salvatore was haunted by it. Apparently, it's the cleanest, most widespread signal in the universe. In Italy, it's so strong that sometimes we can hear it coming out of intercoms. Mm -hmm. They're all dead, said Sheen. We have to run towards the hills. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what is this one? We don't know. The electrical panel is not operative at the moment. Okay. Weather forecast? No. Paper satin, paper satin, alipe. Hmm. I was a bit, I was a bit, screamed Richmond, looking at Shane with hopeful eyes, as if hope hadn't left him alone, a chunk of his flesh. <sighs> Do we have anything in here about it? Energy subsystem, carrier synchronization, space cabin atmosphere, maintenance. Oops. I need help. Uh, how can I decode the signal? The signal is received via the high frequency antenna. Then the modem processes it and finally it reaches the mainframe. Usually that's enough, but the signal is usually weak and has to and has a lot of interference. Okay, how can I amplify? There's a signal amplifier. Okay, so let's refresh it now. Okay, but I connected the amplifier to the receiver, I think. Hmm. Anything else? Mm, let's check it again. Hi, it's the R2. Wait, what? How was it supposed to go again? Um. Link system to let the signal pass for amplifier. Okay. Yes, I took it. Antenna. Wait, so radio. 
Anthony. Okay. We need socket X1. That's for sure. So radio to socket maybe? Okay. From antenna to socket. From socket to modem, I think. And from modem to mainframe. Okay. Can I hide you? From antenna, which was two to eight. Two to eight output. Um, antenna to this one, and then. to seven to then seven to six no subsystem okay hmm signal to noise ratio is too low what could be the reason Was a high noise in the wide net reception. Best guess would be some faulty hardware in the control panel that's interfering with the neighboring circuits. Faulty hardware in the control panel that's interfering with the neighboring circuits. Examine the instrumentation. Check if you smell something burning. Check if you smell something burning. Um. Uh, okay. Do you need some food? Oh, you definitely need some food. Um. Can I give you some of... No, I, my best guess is he needs insects. No. Hmm. I can't put anything inside unless I open the feeding door. Okay. But can I put anything? Okay. Doesn't work like that. Brilliant, but no. So you eat those. Okay. You should be fine for now. Hey, Lilo. What's up? Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe we can ask her this one with a fork since we don't have. What the? F How did this end up here? It must have interfered with all the signals. Oh, did you say something? Is that where you always relax, Gorky? Vibrations make me feel cuddled. Nobody knows who brought a vibrator here, and Gorky won't tell. Maybe I should try it sometime. Weird, why is Brain Core directing me on this radio frequency? That frequency was never used by Brain Code to communicate with Bento. 1632353. 1632353. Uh, hello, operator 8A797CTR on the Bando station responding to a company call. I believe we had a meeting scheduled. Hello, operator 8A97CTR calling. Oh, thank god I'm here! I'm here! Uh, hi, is there a problem? Sorry if I'm late. I... I've been strained aboard the Corona transport ship for 33 days. Please send immediate rescue. My coordinates are... Wait, what are you talking about? Can you hear me? I repeat, I'm strained aboard 
I can hear, but I don't understand. Uh, is this is this the T vine of offices of Brinko? What? No, this is the Corona. I'm sorry, I was expecting a written call of my company's offices. What is going on? My name is El Cato. I'm a technician on the Corona transport ship. Thirty-three days ago, there was an explosion in our T quantum core. We shut it down to contain radiation, but we have no way to fix it. Even our gas engines are down. We are we are stranded. Our coordinates are L fifteen V seven six eight sector D forty two W eighty one. At what relative speed are we moving? We're almost still just 0.0000085 AC per day, roughly towards the center of the sector. Mm -hmm. Still, I were you stationary when the explosion occurred? Look, that's irre irrelevant now. Just come here and rescue us, please. Um, this is the space lighthouse. I can't move it. Fuck! I've been sending this signal for 26 days and you're the first one that answered. I'm panicking. I've been panicking for weeks. In 34 days, a ship will come by to bring a full cargo of supplies to the bento. I could reroute them as soon as they're near. Fuck! Is this your... What is your name? Carl. Carl Humba. Carl, listen to me. Please, we really don't have 34 days. Why? Are you fruit reserves? We finished those a long time ago. Fuck. I see, we're finally on the same page. The only way for us to get food at this point would be to start killing people. Mm. Maybe I can use the radio to find another ship in the vicinity. Please do that. Everything is broken here and I can only send this weak signal that apparently everyone is ignoring. We are in the outer frontiers. Very few ships come around. That is so not comforting me. I beg you, find a way to save us. You're our only hope. I'm going to try immediately. Wait there. There is zero chance of me going anywhere. Okay, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, Carl. And please, hurry. Carl, please don't forget about your tasks. Um, I'll make it quick. Take your time. I just completed my remind Carl of tasks task and I'll be okay for a while. Okay. Um, let's see. Bento station here. This is an emergency broadcast. Please reply. I repeat, this is an emergency. Someone answered. This is the second mate of the worship Khan, flying under great low banners of a on a diplomatic mission. Greetings. This is Operator Carl Hamba on the Bento station. Um. I have a stranded transport ship in immediate need of rescue. Please wait. Captain Grady Maggio speaking. What's the ruckus? Glad I found you, Captain. I have a big problem here. I imagine so. That's the only reason my second mate would have interrupted my tea break. Uh, sorry for the interruption, but uh, I have a transport ship in dire need of rescue and food. First things first, I don't recall you introducing yourself. Uh, I identified with your second mate, I thought he reported it. It's a matter of both etiquette and policy. Sure, I'm operating 8897CTR of the Bento Station Carl Hamba. Okay, operator, you may proceed. You have to change course uh, towards these coordinates. L15 V768 Sector D42 uh, W81. You will find the Corona transport ship there. Prepare to take on board and assist up to 76 malnourished, dehydrated crew members. Are you taking a lot of things for granted, operator? What? This ship is carrying political representatives of the Great Low on a diplomatic mission. We simply don't change course. Captain, please listen to me. I gave you the Corona's coordinates. Mm -hmm. You must adhere to the Sea and Space Treaty. You have to go. Now you listen to me, Operator. I am good at my job because I adhere to rules. 
While you were talking, I did consider your plight so much that my tea is cold now. This ship is a behemoth that goes straight to its target. Veering from that would be absurd and unnatural. You may not like it, but we float in different waters than you and the Corona. For what it's worth, you might as well consider us to be in a parallel, untouchable universe. Um, are, you might be untouchable, but you can ignore the sea and space treaty. You have to go. I'm not ignoring anything. The treaty has a range limit, and we're simply out of range of those coordinates. So I'm going to carry on. Good luck, operator. I sincerely hope you find another way. You can't do this. Well, cap Captain? Captain? Take out of communication, girl. There is no one else out there. She can't abandon 76 people. Do you think they're really out of range? She seemed more worried about her tea than about checking those coordinates. If we paint on their position, we could see if she was telling the truth. If and if she wasn't, you could blackmail her Porsche ass. I think I'd like to see that. <laughs> it looks like that captain got on your nerves. I don't like when people mess with you, Carl. Only I can do that. That's what friends are for, right? Uh, not really, but... I'll give it to you, Gorky. That's a great idea. Oh, that tingled. Let me use the mainframe to run a discovery routine for nearby ships. I integrated a duplex path between the high frequency antenna, the modem and the mainframe to use this. Okay. Um Okay, let's do our tasks. Play the radio beacon. I can go back to my routine task and find a way to help Corona. Carl, you're here to do a job, and if you procrastinate you'll end up losing your daily reward. I'll be quick. I'll be waiting. So I cannot. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's see. I might as well write those down. Okay. Two, two, seven, seven, two, six, and six, two, seven, and seven, two. Base ship is not visible. She probably disabled ping replies. That's illegal, isn't it? In deep space, it's open to interpretation. Great to look like a do not disturb captain. Maybe I can infer her position by determining her distance from other points in space. Good idea. I'm glad I've been a good teacher. I was never your student. You simply don't know it. I'll use post-it to write down the calculation needed to pinpoint great posi grace position um, what language is this? It's Serbian, the language of my favorite jazz trumpet player. Um, Ray? This is the second mate of the embassy ship Khan. P 
Pink. Oh my goodness. Tail up. Gray. Who is this? Embassy, embassy ship can here. Okay. Unable to connect. Um. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Bento, such a light. Okay. One, 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 f okay. Satellite one, one, fifty. Eight, one, oh, one, and Bento. Box. Dial up. Hello, can here. Great. Uh, one seventy nine. Oops. Ah, I have her. Grey is at less than two days of travel from the corona. Now that she's coroned, she'll have to listen to me. Oh, right. Grey is here. Second mate of the warship Khan speaking. This is Carl Hamba from the Bento Station. Patch me in with the captain, please. The captain is not interested. Please stop calling. I pinpoint your position. I know you are well in range of the for the corona's rescue. Wait a moment. Carl, can't say I missed you. L sixty five V three one four sector D forty one W eighty one. I know exactly where you are. Oh dear, that sounds so ominous. I was afraid you would pull something like that. I have to ask, how did you do it? This ship should be more secretive than my emotions. Uh, this is a space lighthouse. I can find whoever the hell I want. My, my, you must be so proud of yourself. I just want you to save those people. I refuse to do that. I have your pro position recorded along with the coronas, ready to be sent via Cubeam. I have all the time in the world here. If you don't comply, I will send the data to any and all sectors authorities. As soon as you dock somewhere, you will be t tried and thrown in jail for the rest of your life. Will I? This is a great low ship full of Politi political representatives. They are the authorities. Mm -hmm. And they won't change the law for the ship's captain. They will throw you to the wolves without any remorse. Yet they will also pay me handsomely for choosing duty over my career. With money like that, prison can be a luxury resort. And so here we are, a binary decision. Be fired or go to jail. Um, why fire? It's a diplomatic mission. You just tell them you're taking a scenic detour. detour. Those people are not grunts, but that doesn't mean they're not on schedule. To make that detour without lagging behind, I'll have to fly almost two days at 2G to get to the Corona, when two more than two more to get back on track. That means four days when my passengers will have to be tied to Boone 
chair instead of drinking and having orgies. For days during which their main thoughts will revolve around getting my ass fired in the most deplorable way possible. But I guess you don't care, huh? Look, I'm sorry if you'll get fired, but you have to go. I know I'm screwed, huh? Give me a, give me one minute. Fuck! Bird made. Okay, it is done. In a half an hour, the passengers will be tied to boom chairs. And on how they're going to love it. And in one hour, we'll be done maneuvering and on the an intercept course with the Corona. We'll be there in under two days. Now I'm going to have another cup of tea with extra sugar. Bye, Carl. Bye, Captain. Hello, this is Carl from the Bento Station. Carl! Yes, it's Isel, I'm here. I managed to... Did you find help? Is someone coming? Um. Yes, but are you alright? I'm so not alright, but wait, did you say yes? Yes, you're going to be rescued, El. A ship is coming in approximately two days. Yes! Oh, Carl, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm, you have to... F you have to thank a Captain Grey D. Maggio for the rescue, not me. I certainly will, but thank you, Carl. Really. You saved me from madness and wars. If I didn't feel this weak from starving, I would dance a little. I'm a pretty good dancer, you know. Maybe. I bet you are. Eh, you better. And with all this starving, now I even look like a ballet dancer. Who? I guess I sound a little mad, don't I? Mm, it's alright, you deserve it. As long as I'm mad good, I can live with that. So who's coming to save us? I hope it's not some corporation ship, but hey, I don't care even if it is. It's a great low warship. Big corporation, I'm afraid. Great low? It doesn't ring a bell, but I can't place it. It's all good anyway. As long as they rescue us, they'll be my heroes forever. Carl? Yes? I didn't want to die. I really, really want to live. I know, Elle. This might sound like a rhetorical statement, but think about it. How many times did you stop to truly consider if you wanted to live? A few times, but I understand your point. I hope that when that happened to you, your answer was a strong yes. What is it, a Choose Life commercial? <laughs> Maybe this. Don't be a Pascal. Well, that's me, Grouchy Bellamy. Who? Nothing. It was something Esha used to call me. Esha? My daughter. Hey, I'm sorry, Elle. I have to go now. I understand. Absolutely. You were already so kind. I mean, you totally saved me. I didn't. Can I ask you one last favor? Sure. Can you call me tomorrow? Just to check on me. It's great that someone is coming, but these two days are still gonna be tough. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay, and I'll call you tomorrow. Thank you, Carl. Bye then. Bye, Elle. You're being really nice, Carl. Is it because she reminds you of your daughter? What? That topic is off-limits, Gorky. You know it's off-limits. Don't even... As you wish. And so I'm gonna end this part here, so for now, thank you very much, stay alive and see you soon. Bye!